Hey, hi there. I've been telling in all my videos that reading is very important. Reading helps you in not only developing your fluency but your mindset also. But most of you are first time readers and you don't know from where to start. In this video, I'm going to tell you three important tips which will help you to select the right book and develop the hobby of reading which will become a habit afterwards. See here. When you read, you should not just like read as if you are studying. Reading is different and studying is different. Studying we did in, in schools and colleges during exams. But as you know, like, you know, while, while we were studying during exams, how, how was it? I mean, it was very boring, monotonous, dull. <laughs> we hated reading. And it was like a cure for insomnia. You wanted to just go to sleep. So that is not going to help you in this case. Here, the reading, the flow, the mindset while reading is very important. When you are reading a book, you must be completely engrossed in the book. And for that, the right book is very important. Three factors are there. First factor is the genre. When I, while selecting a book, you should select the right book. Do not do any mistake. Don't, don't read any uh, other topic which you are not familiar with. I love psychology. I mean, you can choose which genre you love. You love romantic books, read. You love stories, read. You love autobiographies, read. But first of all, choose the genre. If you are, if you don't like, um, for example, love stories, or if you don't like um, thriller stories, don't touch that. I love psychology. I just bounce on the books. So find the right genre which you really love. And that will only happen when you read at least the introduction. Next point, the sentence pattern. See here, every author has his unique way of framing sentences. Some authors frame easy, short sentences. Some frame long sentences. After reading around 500 books, I have realized that every author has a different way of writing a sentence. So if the sentence is very complicated, don't touch that book. You can touch that afterwards. I mean, after six months or one year. But choose that. Now I'm going to show a demonstration. I mean, like I'm going to take you there. I'm going to show you how to select a book with a demonstration. So then you can make a decision whether to go with this book or not. Third factor is the words used. Sentence formation is different and words is also different. Some authors use difficult words. Some are, you know, using simple words. I will show you again with a demonstration that how to choose the right book with better words. See, if you're using a dictionary every now and then, you're not going to continue reading. You're going to stop it because it will be dull and monotonous. So while choosing that book, see that the words are known to you. And okay, on one page, one or two words, fine, I can understand. But 10, 11, 12 words on one page, don't touch that book. Leave it, leave it quickly. So let us move forward. Now I will show you actually uh, how to select a book. I have taken some books from my daughter's cupboard. In fact, I have stolen them and I brought them here. She's not there. She has gone to school. And now you can decide which book to select. There is no name. I'm telling you, name is not important. Three factors are important. I repeat, genre, the sentence construction, the sentence pattern, and third is the vocabulary. So let's jump in. So friends, this is the first book which I have taken. This book is, of course, as I said, like I have stolen it from my daughter's cupboard. But I'm going to keep it back again. No need to worry about. Let us start. Now, I'm going to open this uh, second chapter. I'm going to read the second chapter. Now, when you read a book, you should, as I said before, three factors are very important. First is the genre. If you love stories, go with this. Second factor is the sentences which are constructed here. These are very easy sentences. And third is the vocabulary used. So let me show you one demonstration. You can decide then what to do. Vikram was a merchant. He used to buy and sell all kinds of goods. He had a donkey to carry his load. There was a river on his way to town. Every day while going to the market, the merchant Vikram bathed his donkey in the river. Now you can see here, this is the sentences. Now here vocabulary is very simple. It's a simple story and the sentences are also very easy. 
you can just finish the story and you can decide whether you want to go it or not. If you feel like this is very easy for you, don't read this. Go with the second one. Now, let us go with the second kind of book. You can see here, the second book is of course Sudha Murthy's book, The Magic Drum and the other favorite stories. So these are the stories which are really interesting and let me again take you and read it for you. Now you can, you can feel the difference in the sentence pattern, the vocabulary as well as the, the topic, the stories. So let me go here and start with the actual story. The name of the story is The Superman. Let me read for you. The men of Suvarna Nagari were very lazy. They only liked to gossip and tell each other tall tales. As soon as the sun rose, the men would tuck into a hearty breakfast and start gathering in groups. Then they'd spend the rest of the day telling each other impossible stories. They came back home only at lunch and at dinner time. You can see here from one paragraph, you can figure out that whether this book is suitable for you or not. The vocabulary used, the sentence pattern. And this is mostly suitable for most of the people. So if you are really uh, not very uh, good reader, go with this. If you have never read before, go with the storybook which I have told you. Let us take another book now and you will feel the change. You will feel that it's a different kind of book. Let me keep this book. Now this is a book, this is my book, not taken from anywhere. This is a book, uh, The Psychology of Money. And this book is written by Morgan Housel. Let us come here, open, and the introduction we will read. Of course, this book is written before, I think, my, by my wife, I guess, I don't know. Let me start for you, The Greatest Show on Earth. I'll read it for you loudly. I spent my college years working as a valet at a nice hotel in Los Angeles. It's a new word now, right? Valet. Now go and find out what is a, who is a wallet and what he does. One frequent guest was a technology executive. He was a genius, having designed and patented a key component in Wi-Fi routers in his 20s. He had started and sold several companies. He was wildly successful. Now, in this way, you go and finish I will not do it for you because it will take a lot of time. And now you can figure out, okay, this, this, is, this book is all about money psychology. Do you love this genre? Do you, do you want to, uh, do you really, are you really interested in this? Go ahead. And are you familiar with the words? I mean, do you feel like, see, you should not refer a dictionary every now and then. If you are referring a dictionary every now and then, reading becomes with full of friction. When there is a lot of friction, you will never enjoy reading. So don't read that book. Don't touch that book. Be very careful. This is the third book. Let me show you another book. Now, now this is Laughter, the Best Medicine. Why I've chosen this book? Because we love to read funny stories. We love to read uh, jokes. And we enjoy that. Therefore, I have selected this. And when you are reading, as I said before, as when you are reading, you should enjoy it. It should be pleasurable, not painful. Choose this kind of books and you will really enjoy it. Let me come here. Now this is a book full of jokes. Some jokes are here. For example, who is a politician? The one who shakes your hand before the election and your confidence after the election. So if you haven't understood this, don't read it. Because the sentence pattern and the IQ required, I call it as English IQ. English IQ means what? When you are a frequent reader, when you are a regular reader, you will be able to understand this. And there are some new words also. If you are not familiar, don't touch this book. You can do it after a couple of months or five or six months once you reach that level. And now the last book is here. As I said before, I have stolen this from my daughter's cupboard. J.K. Rowling, as you can see, this is a big, thick tome. And before reading this book, First of all, you should have a better vocabulary and regular, you should be a regular reader. I always give books to my kids and I never say no to them. When they ask me for sweets or cake and all, I deny. But books, I never deny. 
Now, let us come here and edit for you. See the title, chapter one, Dudley Demented. Now, maybe a new word for you, right? Okay, now I'll read it for you. The hottest day of the summer so far was drawing to a close and a drowsy silence lay over the large square houses of Privet Drive. Now see here, I will use my pen. Cars that were usually gleaming stood dusty in their drives and lawns that were once emerald green lay parched and alone. Hyphen is used for the use of hose pipes had been banned due to drought. Now see, the word drought is there, the word parched is there, or the word uh, which was gleaming. If you are not familiar with these words right now, don't go with this book. Slowly develop your vocabulary and then go with this book. Otherwise, if you read the whole page and you will find it, oh my god, all the words are new, this, 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 skinny and all, you will never read and you will never develop, inculcate the habit of reading and you will shut the book. That should not happen. Okay? So guys, this is all about reading. You can decide which book to read. So, how was it? Hope you got an idea of how to select a book. Now you can choose a book. Go. You need to spend some time. You need to uh, buy some books. Or if you can't buy, go on a PDF and download some books and just check which, which book is the fit for you. See, selecting a book is like selecting the right pair of shoes for you. So it is going to take some time. Oh, spend some time. Even it will take a couple of days. But choose the right book so that reading becomes your habit, your passion. My best wishes. See you.